excuses for Andrew Wiggins. A few people on the text line are bringing that up. I'm not making excuses for Wiggins. I'm telling you who he is. I'm telling you who it is. You're asking him to be someone he's not. So that doesn't make you wrong. You can ask him to be someone he's not. I'm just telling you, if you would like to not throw your remote control at the TV, then stop waiting for Andrew Wiggins to be a one or a two. Call your friend in Minneapolis and ask him how this works. The second you go, you know what we need tonight? We need a little something extra from Andrew. Well. And scene. You're done. It doesn't work that way. That's not him. Right. So So it doesn't work that way, which also means that when it comes time to the playoffs, you're not going anywhere. And this is where you and I differ because you can hold out hope that Draymond Green is going to come back with his bad back and be able to be the Draymond that we all remember from years ago. I'm not so convinced. Clay Thompson, we've already seen, and put this curious illness aside, and whether it's he ate some bad food or he's got the flu, he doesn't have COVID. Bob Myers told us right. as much, but hopefully Clay can rejoin the team for their next game. But we haven't seen Clay play back to back, let alone three straight games of real consistent play. Everyone's talking about the vet min guy, the 38 year old guy who's on a veteran minimum salary. And boy, am I underpaid. Well, he's only played once since January. And so if we're holding out hope for those three guys to come back and save the day, I think that you're grasping at straws. And so it leads me back to Andrew Wiggins. We know what he could be. If he had some verve, if he had real chutzpah, but he doesn't. He and, doesn't. Well, then he doesn't. Then you're done. I 